welcome to sk compete so this is for beginners who are about to start this upsc prelims preparation so first read the syllabus because you'll be you know that the success ratio of this exam is very low and many are preparing for it so you'll have so many materials available online so many books to refer so many papers to read so you have to first limit your sources for that you have to know the syllabus so for this topic which book to read which newspaper how to read it so first you have to know the syllabus then you have to analyze the previous years question paper so suppose one topic you search a keyword google it you will find out from where they have taken so it is important to analyze pre and make her you make your own analysis for it next you have to prepare a book list for each subject and reading the newspapers not that if suppose there is one news not it's not the necessary to memorize the entire page of that news it's not how you read the newspaper for this preparation suppose one particular topic is in news you have to google we'll see in further slides you have to google it you have to search for it what is the background of that news why that is in news you have to understand spend extra 5 minutes in understanding but you have you need not spend entire day in analyzing that so you have to limit time management is very important so for example if it's news for 5 minutes is more than sufficient for reading the newspaper so i'll tell you for every topic for every subject how we have to read this newspaper the strategy will be different for science the strategy will be different for economics and making your own notes is important because for history for say for history you'll be reading five six books of it before day of prelims you can't read everything before day so you have for revision making notes is very important that to subject wise and your while preparing the thing has to be each day one subject from monday if it is polity next day history because next week monday while doing it you have to read you have to revise previous days thing because for a say this week fully you are reading polity you will be very comfortable with that topic that weekend you are giving a test in polity you will get very good marks but that is not how the exam will be you will have from all areas so every week you split off the days into each subject and weekend once in a week you have to that day you can decide of your choice for example say on sunday you give a test so that week what and all you have re read down it all subjects every day you have to read one one subject and sunday give a test on and not the entire syllabus but split the syllabus into weeks and for that particular week you give a test or analyze you revise on that weekend if you can't find the question paper for your own syllabus you just wait you have to revise that day but your i would suggest every day go for a subject and next week you revise the previous week's one don't stick to every week one one subject initially you'll be comfortable with that you'll be very thorough on subject say in the month first week you're reading polity after two weeks after reading history and environment if you when sub question is being asked in polity you'll struggle to answer it so every day one one subject and give test revision is very important limit your sources and keep revising what you have read that is very very important because many i have seen they will go for n number of sources every day they keep reading till prelims examination that is not limit your sources and keep revising that for that you have to know what are the things you have to keep your preparation simple and you have to limit your sources for that you have to know syllabus and analyze previous year question paper so this is the syllabus this is current affairs history of india and indian national movement indian and world geography indian polity and governance economic and social development social development is mostly related to schemes of various ministries general issues on environment ecology biodiversity and climate change and general science and technology is also included in this or in current events so we have already seen analyze previous year question paper how is this going to help you first i would suggest do your analysis on your own take one year's question paper at least and do your own analysis from where they have taken a question what are the book sources what are the newspapers required for that i would say the newspapers stick only to two hindu and indian express you can answer 
If you stick to this minimum book list and this newspapers, 90%, 90 questions you can answer. At least you will be familiar with. You can't answer everything, at least you will be familiar with. But for those 10 or 15 questions which you are not aware of it, don't go for extra sources every year. Suppose say for one thing is in some particular X newspaper that you are not reading it. So don't add that newspaper to it. Stick to minimum. This too I would suggest that to, uh, you can have your own newspaper choices. And economic times for economics is very important. This is only for economic point of view. These two for everything. So these are the newspaper sources. Analyzing previous year's paper. I will show you how to analyze it. Take previous year question paper. 2022 question paper in this let us see so you have with reference to G20 common framework so you, while giving this exam you didn't know what is G20 common framework so how will you analyze this question go type this is not a static thing to be covered so it will be in news for news which are the sources we are following hindu and indian express so go type it g20 common framework hindu this is how you type so you are getting it and you have to read the newspaper for a particular year from previous years january if it is 2022 prelims from Jan 2021. So this news is in Jan 2021. For prelims 2023, you have to read from Jan 2022 current affairs. So you have chair becomes first country to ask for debt overhaul under G20 common framework. So read about this. So you see what are all being given in this read this article so keywords so this is with the help of paris club indian monetary fund this is one keyword so it is keywords alone and announce charge move under its extended so imf from imf this charge getting loan under extended credit and extended fund facilities this all we'll see while reading about imf international organizations also very important in this you have to make a list of very important organization and read about it by visiting its own website if it is imf you have to visit imf website then what is this you need this is like what is this why it is under high debt because of corona covid and low prices for oil no need because it is not about india it's about some other country so we no need about that in detail that is in huge debt burden that country has it comes under framework of g20 common framework that's all required if some other organizations is there read about it then you have this aims to streamline the process for poor countries you have one more debt service suspension initiative debt service suspension initiative so this might also be in another question debt service suspension initiative is of which organization cg20 is not so of which organization d20 sorry g20 so this and all you can make a note under so you maintain a separate thing for international organization you know this imf g20 while reading about further in this, I will tell you what are the important organizations. So under G20, you go make a note. It has common G20 common framework. Chad is the country which has come recently under it because of its high burden. So we have read about this. We'll be now able to answer that question. The question asks, it is an initiative endorsed by G20 together with Paris Club. Yes, we saw Paris Club and IMF also has a role to play in it. And next, so this is true. It is an initiative to support low-income countries with unsustainable debt. So that also we saw. It helped chart. So with this, both A and B are correct. So C is the correct option for it. So this is in Hindu. So how to read the newspaper? We have seen by analyzing previous year question paper. So for each question. That we will see separately for 2022 subject wise i'll put a video 
how to analyze the question paper. Now coming back to this. Now we'll see next what are the book list required. First for ancient history, two book sources. To begin with NCRTs, you can go for NCERT books. But that's just give a read, get an overall idea. Main thing is old NCRT by this, this is the book cover, Ancient India, Arisha Mas 1. One more, Upendar Singh is also a must read book. This is also for Ancient India. These two books are must for Ancient History. Only that two are enough. Now we will see, we will be able to answer. This is 2022 question paper. Site of Ashoka's major rock edict, what are the locations? So they have asked this, four places. And this year, the UPSC have come as... Many have you started using the elimination technique in past years. There will be these options, one only, one and three only, one and two only, four only. So when we know this one is wrong, for example, I'm telling you, so you can eliminate all these three options and tick D. So many are doing that. So to avoid it, one has to know the question paper setter wants to know the exact knowledge of the student so they've come up with only one pair is correct here you can't use your elimination techniques you have to definitely know the fact so Dauli, Eragudi, Jaugada, Kalsi so where all you'll find so now we have to go through the previous books whether it's so it's fine it's found in Upendar Singh fine spots of Ashokan so you have all the places Dauli is located here that you know it is in Odisha and Kalsi, you have Kalsi here. It is located in near somewhere, North India. And you have uh, Eragudi is in Andhra Pradesh. Jaugada is also in also Odisha. With this, you can answer the question. In previous page, they have given this place, this Dauli is in Odisha. This is also mentioned in previous page of this Upendar Singh. So these two sources will most, I'm not telling all the questions, but 90% of the questions can be answered from these two books for ancient history. Next, medieval history, you stick with this book. This is most important. As far, I've come to this conclusion after analyzing few question papers. You can go with Satish Chandra's NCRT also, the world one NCRTs, but compared to that, this is in detail and talks about few minute details also history of medieval india by vd mahajan so we'll see in medieval india the term phanam referred to what clothing coins ornaments weapons so is this found in this book yes we'll see now many will be having this doubt can we answer all the questions that also are covered in another video how many questions can be answered from the book list what i've given and with Hindu and Indian Express newspapers and economic times for economy. So you have seen in this page number 304 in this book, there is mentioned Phanam, where it is being mentioned in this coin, 10th part of last mentioned coin. So you can easily mark this answer B. Next for modern history, spectrum is sufficient. Spectrum is a very important book. This one book is sufficient for modern history. So here the question is, consider the following freedom fighters who are associated with Kadar party. So can we answer this question? Yes. This is also found in this book where you can see. Sorry. So here you can see. Sorry, where did that go? Koma Taru incident. Ah, you can see Bengal revolutionaries were contacted. Raj Pehari Bose and Sachin Sanyal were asked to lead the movement. Here, you know, moving spirits be her card. And this party was launched in Canada, I mean, foreign country in USA. So, this conducted, this Kadar party conducted these two incidents. In this, who is like India, they approached Raj Pehari Bose and Sachin Sanyal. So, in this thing, Go back to previous. So it is Rash Pehari Bosch. Three only. It's option D. Next comes art and culture. For art and culture, 
this ncrt book introduction to this class 11 indian art indian art and culture nithin singh and this book is more than sufficient it will cover everything if you want you can see ccrt also and apart from that for every static thing you have the newspaper thing also here comes that this is temples all will be covered in art and culture only but will this be covered in books if you go searching it's not available why because prime minister recently inaugurated the new circuit house near somnath temple at veravel so it talks about somnath temple so for current affairs everything right from history geography everything will be in news so now just googling it somnath temple yes it was in hindu newspaper in jan 2022 so this is the screenshot of it pm to inaugurate new circuit house near somnath temple so now if you see that you know that temples are all covered in art and culture so you have to search for somnath temple so for art and culture regarding this temples you read about something in news google it refer wikipedia for art and culture so i told you already for every subject there is a different strategy for art and culture google it wikipedia for history but if you ask economy i would suggest investopedia and rbi websites not wikipedia so for every subject there is a strategy art and culture google somnath temple hmm. so comes here somnath temple it's a hindu temple located in veravel gujarat first among the few jodhrlinga shrines of shiva so attacked by mahmud ghazni this all you have to make a note of it and when the converted to islam after independence was demolished so contemporary somnath temple under first home minister of india vallabhai patel then so you have seen it's one of jodhrlingas attacked by ghazni and it was reconstructed by vallabhai patel then location and all it's not that much if some river is there just make a note of it you have any river near to it no then you have albruni states that somnath has become so famous it was harbor for seafaring people so this is and all not required so even this was occupied during indus valley civilization that is important then this is all on i have a jodhrlinga here so saraswati river river kapila and saraswati and you have read about the history which is only required for it so reconstruction during vallabhai so just read about this temple in wikipedia now coming on to this question so this is one of the jodhrlinga shrines is true description was given by albiruni we read about it then somnath temple installation of present day was done by president radhakrishnan no we saw that is by vallabhai patel so it's one and two only so go to wikipedia if you have n number of you feel that content just go through a content once in wikipedia also you have n number of just go through which is important over a period of time if you analyze previous year question papers you yourself will come to a conclusion this is required this is not required it's very lengthy skip off only read the introduction first para of it and just skim through it if you have any famous personalities names written there if it is so much can leave that next for geography best is ncrts and if you want any concepts clarity you can just youtube the concepts alone climatology and gc leong is another book these are the books for geography so now consider the following this question seems easy but there's a trickier part how many of the above are generally known as tea producing states so it's a very easy question but you have a doubt you know kerala tripura himachal all tea producing there comes a doubt is andhra for that this question the answers lies exactly in ncrt books itself contemporary india part 2 you can see 
major tea producing states are Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala. Apart from these, Himachal, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, Andhra, and Tripura are also tree producing states. So all the above. If you could have missed that, you could have marked it as only two or only three. But all four. This is given in contempt NCRT itself. So this and all you have to make a note while reading this. Now I would suggest for map based question, you will be reading about in future about rivers, national parks and various reservoirs, dams, lakes all. So how to remember that? So you make a table of it. You make a big table here you mention the state. You read this river thing, mountain thing separately also. That let that be a separate part. But in order to for you to remember easily, you make this table state, river, mountain, reservoirs, lakes. What are the famous cities also? On which river, which city is found? Those also. And national park sanctuaries. All you make a note. Then that will be easier to remember. For example, which suppose there is a question. Uh, river Pennar flows through this. Kaveri National uh, Wildlife Sanctuary or something is a question. So if you know here this national park is in this state and river also you will remember because pictorial things you will remember. If this box comes into your mind you can match okay this river also flows through the states national park is also there. So somehow that kind that can help you in elimination also it's very important to make this table. After reading all this separately make this table. Next for polity, this is the Bible of it, Indian polity by Lakshmi Kanthwali. This book is sufficient. Constitution of India classify the ministers into four ranks. This is one. Total number of ministers including prime minister shall not exceed 15%. So this exact same word is found in, you can see, exact same, shall not exceed is found. And here you have council of minister consists of Three category of ministers. Here, nowhere it is mentioned, constitution classifies it. So, that is the wrong option. Because if constitution classified these ministers into these and these categories, you will have an article for it. Once you start reading that Lakshmi Kant, you will make out. Everything has an article. Name of the state comes under article X. So, for each and everything, there is an article. If it is emergency, Article 352 deals with the emergency. So every article comes. So here no article is mentioned and constitution also doesn't. So you have to be very careful in reading this book. You have to read each and every word of this book. So you can eliminate it. You can tell that easily. We haven't read the so constitution nowhere. It is based on parliamentary, British parliamentary convention. Now for economics also, to start with, you go for NCRTs and you can read this Ramesh Singh. Here for economy what I would suggest is Google the topic, read an investopedia, RBI or some newspapers. Economic times is important. This comes every year while it is releasing you can make a short summary of economic survey and budget. And this MES Ministry of External Affairs that you have to visit every ministry website. Take once in a year if you are giving this year in December or Jan or whenever you are comfortable you are free visit every website see what are the schemes or if already known already many coaching institutes have given you the list of schemes read that then you go to that website find out if there is any extra information which is because every institutes come up with the same set of news if one news is missed it's missed by almost everyone so you go check by yourself so but the, though this is a question so economics is mostly in newspaper only. I'll teach. I will just show you how to read the newspaper for economics. With reference to foreign owned e-commerce firms operating in India, what are the options are correct? So this is the screenshot of that. In economic times, this news was published in June 2021. India new e-commerce rules that could jolt foreign local players. So you have to read about it. So read the entire article. Here it says e-commerce company must ensure none of their related party and associated enterprises are listed as sellers on shopping website. So they are not allowed to have company of their own to sell in Amazon or Flipkart and no related entity should sell go to an 
online seller operating on the same platform so come to this thing and they can sell their own goods no the degree to which they own big sellers on their platform is limited yes they can't own their own enterprises selling us in their own platforms so the option is two this is of course limited they can't sell their goods if some other term is used which you are not able to understand google it that will be for suppose last year there was a question inflation indexed bonds google it you see if some news you have read something about in inflation indexed bond in news so you google get a clear picture of it don't just inflation indexed bonds just don't memorize the terms or definition of it that's not going to help you you have to yourself you just think of yourself you are explaining to someone what is that bond so to that level you have to understand spend extra time in understanding the concepts then only you won't forget or else if you read that 100 times also you tend to forget it for environment shankara is environment is the best book and news is so climate action tracker which monitors the emission reduction while giving the exams you won't remember reading this but yes it is present in hindu 2000 21 november in science and tech part energy and environment heading climate deal struck at cop 26 with coal compromise so here while reading it i have told you previously also while reading the while analyzing previous year question paper g20 common framework also keep a note of important organization same way while reading this you will come on to this australian climate scientist bill harry who tracks world emission pledges for science based climate action tracker so what is this you have to note so you have to read about this climate action tracker so go to their website type about this climate action tracker so that will show that it is run by the research organizations so database created by coalition of research organizations so you have to learn this way read that news make a note important thing alan make a note of it search a keyword if you find something different search that keyword type it in google know about it make a note of it next for science basic ncrts main thing is hindu only so which of the following is term qubit so this was in hindu april 2022 and headlines itself qubit came to teach students quantum computing so the correct option is quantum computing so as i told you for current affairs refer only hindu indian express economic times for economy ministry website international organization website is equally important for international organization if you find in a news regarding that go type in google visit their website don't go for wikipedia wikipedia is regarding art and culture you wanted to know something for history you wanted to know something wikipedia you can go for economics go for investopedia for science and tech for space related informations that also you can go wikipedia or nasa website means you can go to nasa websites so first priority should be if they have their own website go try reading news about it if it's not then you can go for wikipedia for example you have this united nations credential committee while giving the exam many would didn't know about this but this was published in Indian Express December 2021 so why many miss this because it was an a short thing while reading this entire article you could have so only while reading article make note of important keywords i'm repeatedly telling you a nine member un credentials committee which includes russia china and united so now you start googling about this un credentials committee so here it tells credential committee is appointed at beginning of each regular session of general assembly it consists of nine members appointed by general assembly and it reports to assemblies so with this let us check can we answer that question so it's a committee set up by un security council no it is set up by assembly 
it traditionally meets in March, June and September. Actually, traditionally meets once only. Before that thing, in the year of September to December. So, you are left with only three. It assesses the credentials of all UN members before submitting a report to General Assembly. So, three only. So, now in this video, we have seen what are the book list, how to limit your sources. Just refer this book list. Main thing, read Hindu and Indian Express regularly. Make a note of any important organization. News is, don't just by heart the news. Understand the background of it. Make a note of its keyword and Google it. Visit, if it is international organization, visit its website and know about that organization better. And you prepare a table of this important places. State, what are all lakes, mountains, rivers present. So, thing is that you have to revise with minimum sources what you have read every week. Give a test every week. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.